in Jamaica. Jamaica. You're making me happy for my birthday. <laughs> so beautiful out here. to uh, Negril today. Yesterday we went to Ocho Rios. We have so much video content and uh, of the waterfall we've seen out there. So we're going to be posting that. We're going to go check out some more beaches. We're just going to explore Jamaica. It's just really beautiful. Look at the water. Like The water is just stunning. Ah uh, yes. Thank you, man. Yeah. Wow. 
Yo, Look at I've been shirt. looking to see some fire. This is some fire, bro. This dude got some perp in this, man. It's a good birthday, baby. What? You guys are growing <laughs> some dank out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm being good, man. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, man, they can, they can light that one. Wow. That's a big, wow. big old joint. That's a Bob Marley. You call it yeah. Bob Marley. Bro. <laughs> you have light up? Oh, yeah, I do. You have light up? Yeah, I do. Yeah, man. That's the purple. So when you're ready, if you want to buy it. Please. Yeah, I'm going to buy a yeah, couple man. of those purples, man. Yeah, for man. sure, yeah, dude. Man. Yeah, man. I got some cash on me for okay. sure, man. We're going we gonna to definitely buy some. <laughs> definitely. I want to pet the cow. That shit look lovely. Oh, look at them, babe. He's so cute. I think he got a hump on his back. Here, you roll this, man. You gotta like this. Are you? Yeah, I did, fire. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I was gonna pet you, but you're taking this oh, shit. Oh, this dude's taking this shit. I don't have time to pet you while you're doing it. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big ass meat pot. This is guava. 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 Guava jam, you know? Oh, man. Guava's so good, dude. Wow. That's cool. Man, he's growing everything I've out here. I've never seen a guava plant before. There's a lot of freaking guava plants on this shit. Another one. Everything out here grows so like naturally so quick, huh? Yeah, man, because you know they, they, they got good soil. Mm hmm. And the rain? The rain, the yeah. soil. Humidity. This is not Perfect. too much rain, it's not too long as I'm Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. No Shut up. Look at all these plants. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, that's the purple. Maybe. Is it purple? Oh, the yeah, purple. purple. Yeah, they're dark, dark. Oh my god, dude, you got some nice. Dude, yeah. you got some fire. Yeah. This shit smells so good. Yeah, man. So you can take picture, you know? You can go inside and take picture, man. Enjoy Woo! yourself. Hold, hold on, baby. That's awesome. Hold this. I'm the... Wow. Look at all these plants. Wow. Baby. You know, Milton, too. What do you want? Milton, I feel you know. Bro, that purple. One family, you know? One family. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, this is awesome, man. Dude. So what, what, what are you growing out here? What strains are you growing out here? You got some so purple? Far. Yeah, man, we have a purple push. Woo. I know, this shit is. Crystallized. That was like, what? That was like out of the movie. It smells so good. Dude, you're growing a lot of purple. Like, yeah. you're like, a lot of purple. Out here. Is that one of the top things out here? Full baby. Wow. Dude, this is a lot of plants. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps going. <laughs> this dude is a mad scientist. Yeah. <laughs> the weed man. <coughs> Jamaica weed. Yeah, no, he's passionate. Look how much he's passionate about this. The, I mean, you. Hold that. That looks fire, bro. This is good shit right here. Wow. They say smoke hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I smoke hard, bro. <laughs> he does. I love the smoke, man. And it's his birthday. We got some purple in there. 
Texas Caicos, they they cooked for us. 
Yeah, that was good. Lobster all the time. Dude, that was the best fish I ever had. had. Yeah, Turks and Caicos for sure. We'll see if Jamaica lives up to it. We're out here for 10 days, so we're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna see what it's about. This is so perfectly warm. I fucking love it. This is nice beach. Yeah, that's nice. I understand why it's the number one beach now. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's so At crazy. This point, I just want to say to those in everyone on behalf of it, are no less than 10 per mile. We use less than a mile of a tour. It became an attraction in the early 1960s based on artifacts we have dug up from time to time. It has led us to the point that these caves first had inhabitants from as far back as the 6th century. What does this mean? It means that people were inside of these caves over 800 years before the coming Watch of out, any Be European careful. to these shores. Really? really? Now, of course, these caves were never created by man nor machines. These caves were formed as a result of water First, flooding these areas, breaking down the softer part of the rock, thus creating what you see today. Over time, because these caves that. have become an attraction, over time we have put in bridges, pathways, rails, and lights. 
but separate and, and apart from those, the cave itself is formed naturally. Wow. As we walk along the tour path, all around us, you will see passages going off in all directions. What about these passages? Some of them interconnect with the tour path. So I can go through one section, and chances are I can end up in another area on the tour path. Mm. But I know all too well that there are passages that may go up to half a mile off the beaten track. Passages such as the one you are about Watch to look at. A passage, by the way, that is not only really important in the cave's history. <laughs> it is also very important in the island's history. The escape route. An area believed to have been used by the last Spanish governor, Don Cristobal Hernández Sassi in his quest to escape from the English in the year 1658. Oh. Because of him doing so, that's one of the main reasons why this section of the Green Bottom is known today as the Runaway Cave. And then came the name of nearby town. Runaway Bay. Runaway, Runaway Bay. Now, when the person, oh. madam, I've asked the question, how is it possible for the Spanish governor to get down to the sea from here, careful. Oh. Now, as many will ask the question, the shortcut, it actually leads to an area we call the, um, the council ground. So more on that later. Okay. This, is a, this is a root yep. from a tree. Yep. That's crazy. It's trying to find water. Mm -hmm. It's trying to find water. <laughs> Look at it. It's yeah. like it's trying. It's wrong. It's wrong and it's searching. Wow. Mm. Yep. Trying to survive. Let me let me go deeper. That's this crazy. is the root of the banyan tree. That's what he has just said. Wherever you find this tree growing, water is near. Mm. As a matter of fact, historically, when runaway slaves use these caves, this is one way of finding out where water sources were. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it would mean that somewhere here there's water, but obviously. If the slaves were here, that's how we are here now, this area would be a literal dead end. Mm. Right? So they wouldn't have found any water in this section of cave. Right. That's not the same in the second section. Now, what is so special about the second section? Yes. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, now we're in the light? I'm about to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> My phone is telling me I'm about to civilize it. Yeah, yeah, no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the middle of nowhere. Oh. In the middle of the cave, that is. We're still in the cave? Yes. Oh, what? This area has collapsed. This area has collapsed. Wow. Pay special attention to the rock. Time. That's crazy. No, this is a rock. Yeah, why? Throughout the length and breadth of the maker. As a matter of fact, we call it as we we call it honeycomb rocks. Honeycomb. But geologically, look like honeycomb. this rock yeah. is limestone. Limestone is a sedimentary rock that was formed, get this, formed from the buildup of sand, silt, and the fossilized remains of marine plants and animals. What does this mean? It means that at one point, not only was this area underwater, wow. so was the entire island. That's a fact. What? Earth, yes. Earthquakes, though, and volcanic activity pushed all of this up onto the ocean yeah. eons ago. Yeah, volcano. Okay. That's volcano. why I don't have no volcano. So we buried it. <laughs> <laughs> in truth, in truth, there is an inactive volcano. Inactive volcano. volcano. I was going to ask that. I was going to ask that. Black Hills, Portland. Portland. Yes. It's inactive though, so it can't. What we have. That one. I'm going to do that. All right, so the Banyan thing. This is what the root looks wow. like. 
the or the toilet. Yeah. Can you call it the, the root or the trunk? I can never it say. That's the root. That's a root. root. All root. All roots. All roots. And unlike the previous area that was going um, horizontal, this is vertical. Yeah, yeah. Unlike the previous area, we see a space down. And princess, that's where we're going. Right. Very well. We're going down. And what I had asked earlier, and you're all for it. When I get to that point, I'm going to do the unthinkable. I'm going to turn the lights off. Stop it. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 this laugh, man. <laughs> Subway and the Underground Railroad. Wash your head. Wash no. your head, no. baby. They're okay. common, but not the same. They're okay, not the so, same, so no. What was the Underground Railroad all about then? Carrying um, sites and well, and the slaves. underground road was for the, wasn't it for the, for the slaves? Slave. It was for the slaves. They were trying to escape from the it's from the north. The underground railroad was used. They were trying to they were trying to, trying to escape from the yeah. Yankees. Yeah. No, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, because even the Mexicans use it now, do that now oh, to America. Yeah, the tunnel. They take a tunnel right through San Diego. I know what you're talking about. I actually been down there. You do, you do? Yeah, it's crazy, man. Okay. It takes you straight into Mexico, Tijuana. Yeah. Yeah. They still use it. People do. Yeah, they do. Is there what? Be careful, baby. So is this regulated? Uh, it's not regulated. <laughs> oh my God. It's definitely not regulated. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Is that water? Oh wow. Wow. This is beautiful. Wow. wow. Someone lost their helmet. <laughs> Where? Right here. Jamaica, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. Wow, the James Bond did this. What is this? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Yes, in 1973, a few scenes from the movie, Live and Let Die with Roger Moore. That's my movie. Bond, filmed a few scenes yep. in what? this very area. Yep. And yes, the lovely young lady about a lot of um, James Bond movies being filmed in Jamaica because many of the stories were, 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 were written in Jamaica. Yeah. You take pictures? Wow. The person who wrote the James Bond movies, Ian Fleming, Ian Fleming yep. he actually owned a house. In Jamaica? In Jamaica, oh, in wow. the adjoining parish of St. Mary. Wow. And if anyone can remember 93, 94, 95, there about, I don't remember which exact year, when the first Pierce Brosnan James Bond came out, yes. Yes. the Golden Eye. Golden yes. Eye. Well, that was actually the name of his man, the Golden Eye. Oh. All right? Yes. Now, this lake itself is 19 feet deep in the center. Where? Center. Wow. Middle. It contains this lake. Yes. Who's This lake here. This water pool here. This water. It's so 19 feet. It contains 400,000 gallons. Home okay. to fishes, crabs, and crayfish. crayfish. Creatures which at one stage were believed to be blind. As a this speculation was based on the biological theory that says when a creature resides in a certain environment, they would adapt to their surroundings. Yeah. For sure. And believe me, down here it can be very, very dark. Wow. There was a point in the 1990s when we had a boat ride down here. What? You guys I had a boat not. ride? But we stopped it because of two reasons. One, the water was becoming polluted. Yeah, you can see there's like trash in the water, man. The sun. And two, a, helmet. Oh, no. a little girl around eight or nine drowned as a result of the boat capsizing. Oh. A lot of Jamaicans, you speak to a lot of Jamaicans, and they will tell you the first time here was on a field trip. We still have field trips. Man, June and July. Coming to these or passing these areas, it would be foolish for you to stop. We're talking about one tour guide usually carrying up to 50 children that size. And we all know three kids this size is a headache. <laughs> no disrespect to you, princess. Eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. But we had to stop it because a little girl drowned. Yeah, I've said one life lost, 
is simply one. Too many laws. Yeah, it's too many. Yeah, I'm definitely not wearing the right clothes. Look at that though. I wear water shoes. Everybody is. 